Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. There's no truth. There's no truth. There is no truth. This is what I see when I go to Kell Brooks' Twitter page. And let's, let's not pretend like this isn't a sneak diss to Errol Spence. Because we know how Kell Brook feels about Errol Spence. He thinks that Errol Spence is a hype job. You know, at some point he compared Errol Spence to Jeff Lacey, who was a big fucking hype job. Went over to the UK and got his ass whooped. But Kell Brook is scared, man. He's very fearful. I know you're probably like, man, his man don't know what the fuck he talking about, man. He don't know what the fuck he talking about, man. Kell Brook, he just finished... He just finished fighting Triple G, man. He just finished fighting Triple G, man. How is he scared of Errol Spence, man? Man, listen, right? That shit's easy to break down. Kell Brook, Kell Brook moves up in weight. He's undefeated at welterweight. He moves up to middleweight to fight one of the hardest punchers and at the time, one of the most feared guys at 160, right? He gets a hefty paycheck. People like you guys think, oh, man, Kell Brook, he's got balls, man. He's going up and wait to fight a killer, right? So there's no way in hell he could be afraid of Errol Spence Jr., right, if he's going up to fight somebody who's perceived to be a bigger threat, right? So Kell Brook goes in there. He exposes Kel, he, he exposes Triple G a little bit. You know, he lifts that motherfucker off his feet with an uppercut, very nice uppercut. But ultimately... Kell Brook didn't have enough. That wasn't his natural weight. And though he is a big Walter weight, it didn't help him in the fight against Triple G. Because we saw what happened in the second round. Corner threw him the towel. I think that was a two-round fight, right? Yeah. I know Kell Brook um, in the first round, and let's be honest, Kell Brook did get staggered by a couple of body shots. Uh, second round, this motherfucker's orbital bone was broken, man. Kel, Kel Brook's orbital bone was fractured in that fight against Triple G. You know, his corner threw in the towel. He never even got knocked down. He was never knocked out, but he was hurt. And let me tell you something about that orbital bone injury, man. You know, if he comes back and he fights Errol Spence, and what I've been hearing is possibly going to be May, um... That's just not going to be healed all the way. I mean, if you look at boxers in the past, if you looked at if you look at guys who've who've had their orbital bone shattered, man, and you know, in, in one fight and then they go on to fight someone else, you know, that that orbital bone is very susceptible to be re-injured, man, especially during a fight. And especially if you're fighting a hard puncher. And Errol Spence is a very hard puncher. You know, he he works to the body first. Then he goes to the face. Then he goes to the head. He goes to the temple, man. So I'm almost certain that Kell Brook's going to get re-injured. And I would hate for that shit to happen, man. I'm kind of upset that he went up and fought Triple G and got that, that kind of in injury, man. Because, you know, I can't front. Kell Brook, Kell Brook is a beast, man. Like, I, I did gain a lot of respect for him, you know, after he fought Triple G. But the problem, my problem with Kell Brook is... How are you going to fight all your mandatories prior to this? Or, or, or let's say after Sean Porter, you fought all those mandatories. You kept on using that as the excuse as to why you didn't want to fight greater opposition. It was always like, hey, I got to take care of my mandatory. Oh, I got to take care of my mandatory. Oh, shit, I got to take care of another mandatory. Then I'm going to try and get a big fight. So I don't understand why... Now you're pretty much in the same position. Errol Spence has worked his way up the ladder. And stop being fucking stupid out there. Who, who's, Earl, who's Errol Spence for it? He's working his fucking way up. He's worked his way up in the rankings. And right now he's the rightful number one contender for the IBF strap. So regardless of who he's fought, he's the number one contender. Who, who the fucking... Who did Kell Brooks leftovers fucking beat? Like, who the fuck were they? They were fucking nobodies. They were fucking bums, man. So I'm really not trying to hear that excuse for Errol Spence, man. Y'all hate on this brother, man. 
Y'all scared. Y'all scared for Kell Brook. You should be afraid for Kell Brook. You know, I hope Kell Brook doesn't get his, his shit rebroken in that fight, man. I don't want to see the motherfucker die. But this motherfucker might go down. This motherfucker might go down for real if he fight Errol Spence, man. It might be a man down situation. Y'all discredit Errol Spence's boxing ability. He's got some really good boxing ability, man. You know, his offense is just, it's impeccable, man. But you know what? Kell Brooks got some good offense too, man. I love Kell Brooks straight right hand, man. I love that shit. He's got some decent defense. You know, Errol Spence is definitely going to get hit more than he's ever gotten hit, you know, in his career in this fight. That's for sure. But this is a very competitive fight. At least it will be for maybe the first half of the fight. I'm not sure if it's going to go 12 rounds. You know, personally, I pick Errol Spence to win by stoppage. I think he's going to I think he's going to go to go to the body on Kell Brook. Kell Brook can't take them body punches, man. And you know, he he just got he Kell Brook just got his ass whooped. And from now until May, that's a huge fucking layoff. He's got to cut weight again. Like I don't see how this shit is in the favor of Kell Brook. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to cut all that fucking weight. He just got his ass whooped. Terrible fucking injury to his eye. Like what? Like what else can? What else can I fucking say, man? Like it's it's over. He, you know, he's been trying to get this fight with Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao does not want to fight Kell Brook. He's not going to fight Kell Brook. That, Kell Brook beat the fuck out of Manny Pacquiao, all right? He beat the fuck out of Manny Pacquiao. You know, Amir Khan, Amir Khan doesn't even have to fight Kell Brook. His O's gone, man. It doesn't mean as much anymore. You know, and obviously Amir Khan's on, on some other path. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I know he got his hand repaired. So, whatever. We, we're just waiting for Amir Khan to get in the ring again and get his ass knocked out too. But I just don't see what, like, Kell Brook's not going to get a big fight. Like Eddie Hearn said, Manny Pacquiao's a big fight for Kell Brook. Or, yeah, that'd be a big fight for Kell Brook, but not such a big fight for Manny Pacquiao. Too much risk, too little reward. So he's not going to get Pacquiao. He's not going to get... Danny Garcia, at least not right away. So he's going to have to do something. I know he called for an extension with the IBF. But what you doing in the meantime, bro? I don't see, I don't see Kell Brook winning this fucking fight. He ain't been in the ring in, how long has it been since he's been in the ring? What was that, August, September, October? I don't even remember. But if we're talking about May, you're not finna just go up in there and beat Errol Spence down like that, man. That shit ain't finna happen. I hope it's a competitive fight, though. To be honest with you, this is a good fight for boxing, and I hope it's competitive, man. I hope Kell Brook don't go in that bitch and get his ass just pummeled, man. But I really think that shit could happen, man. So what, so what happens when Errol Spence beats Kell, Kell Brook? What y'all going to say then? Is he still a hype job? Or, or Kell Brook wasn't ready? Like, what's going to be the excuse, man? What's going to be the excuse when Kell Brook get his ass whooped? Y'all kill me with this shit, man. Why don't y'all go make some boxing channels, man? It's easy. It's easy to do this shit, man. <laughs> Maybe not, man. There's, there's a lot of people out there doing some good shit, man. So, I don't see, I just don't see Kell Brook winning that fight. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I hope, I hope he signs on that dotted line, man. He needs to stop talking shit on Twitter, man. Stop trying to act tough on Twitter. There is no truth. Blatant, blatant low-key diss to Errol Spence. You know, obviously, they call Errol Spence the truth, so I hope I hope Kell Brooks is excited, man, but I think Errol Spence is way hungrier, man, and he gonna take nickels. He gonna take pennies to come over to the UK and beat your ass in front of your home crowd. Hitman Boxing, I'm out. Trump.